everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sinisha and this is Pips of Feature Highlights. In today's short episode, we're going to take a look at the GIF WP integration, our latest integration that we released just a week ago. GIF WP website, our plugin, the website that you're looking right now, is a third-party plugin. It's not developed by us. And in this video, I'm going to explain everything that we include with integration. But in short terms, I'm going to try to explain what GiveWP is. However, I'm not going to be showing the features and options of this plugin. If you're interested in this plugin, you can find it at this link. I will leave the link in the description below. And you can also see all of the pricing that is available to you. For the purposes of our video, we're going to use we're going to use the free version of the Give WP that you can find on WordPress plugin directory. And I'm going to show you how to install that and talk about Give WP so you can be familiar what this plugin can do for you. To install everything we need, we will go to WordPress dashboard, then plugins, add new. Here on this page, Search for Give WP, and the first result that comes out will be the plugin that we want to install. Let's install it now, and while it's installing, I'll try to explain what this plugin is. In the free version, Give WP will allow you to accept donations from your members directly on your website. But if you opt for extending the Give WP with uh, paid features that you can obtain from the website I showed at the beginning of the video, you can create a clone of a Kickstarter website or maybe uh, a Patreon-like website where you collect donations on a monthly basis, recurring donations. That is all in a paid version of the plugin. In the free version of the plugin that we're going to use for the purposes of this video, you can only connect, collect donations. Okay, so let's activate this plugin. And once we do, the wizard will start to set up our donation website. You can either start the setup or dismiss the setup wizard. I am going to dismiss the setup wizard because this video is not about the give WP. If you want to know how to set it up, there's a full documentation on their website and I'm just going to show you how to create a form to collect the donations and then install PIPSO integration so two plugins can communicate. If you ever wish to go through the setup wizard on your own, you can do it by going, let's go back to the dashboard so I can show you the exact path how to access this screen one more time. So go to donations and then setup. First time configuration. It will only take the five minutes. Click on this arrow and then start the setup. I'm going to, I'm going to dismiss it one more time and create my forms manually. Okay. I'm also not going to connect to payment gateway. <laughs> you will want to do this because uh, you will not be able to collect payments if you don't connect to a payment gateway. For now, my Give WP is in a test mode, which will allow me to uh, basically simulate that I'm paying for a donation while not paying at all. If you're a long time viewer, you will know that we do not spend a lot of time talking about the third party configuration setup. But if you're interested to learn how to uh, set up give wp you can go to their website on givewp.com and then from the resources tab you can either go to getting started or documentation this plugin is very well documented documented and you can find everything you need in order to set it up however you want okay like I said, the purpose of this video is not to teach you how to use Give WP, but what our integration with this plugin can do for you. So let's go and install 
Twipso integration now. In order to do that, we need to go to Pipso, then Installer. Let's close this window, we don't need it anymore. Scroll down all the way until you find the Give WP in the Integration sections, I'm sorry. And then click on Install. Once plugin is installed, click on Activate, and that's all you need to do. Now our plugin, our integration with GiveWP is installed. And you can check it by going into configuration. And then GiveWP will show up over here. If you ever used our integrations before, this screen will be familiar to you. On the left hand side, you have profiles options and on the right hand side, you have activity stream options. Let's check the profile options first. They are enabled by default. And when they are enabled, a new tab will be displayed in your profile. So let me open the profile page. No, not that one. Visit community. Okay, so go to the profile. And then the new donations tab will be available over there. Where you can see all of your donations that you have made on the website and even view of the receipt for them if you wish so. I return to, to all donations. Okay. And you can change the profile label. So if you want to change this donations label, you can do that here in this in this field. Profile slug is this part of the link. You can change that too by changing the profile slug. And you can change the icon displayed over here by applying the custom icon CSS class if you use the custom icons. Let's save the settings and move to the activity stream. Post to activity stream will either enable or disable activity stream creation when your users make a donation. You can uh, choose whatever you want. We will enable it so I can show it to you. You can change the action text for the donation and action te text is displayed over here. So made a donation, that's the action te text. You can change that over here in this field. You can append the title after action text, title of the, of the donation form will be append to the, to the action text if this option is enabled. So let me just disable it so you can see how, how this is different. There is no title anymore. Okay in the activity stream. So I'm going to append it and change the default the default privacy to site members. So people who are not logged into your website cannot see who donated. Okay, so this activity stream will still be available to public because it's already created. But if we go to the form and make another don donation, by the way, the Features you see now on your screens come from Give WP plugin. This is completely Give WP. There is nothing Pipso related over here. So I'm just quickly going to download twenty five uh, to <laughs> donate twenty five dollars. It will be so cool if you could download money, right? Okay. Uh, who's giving today? Will be your name and the uh, last name with your email from the from the WordPress. I'm going to use the best donation to not pay anything and simply donate now. Give WP now thank me for my donation. But if I go to the community and see the new activity stream that has been uh, that has been created, you will now see that this new activity stream has a site members privacy that we that we set up over here.
And just like that, we have completed another integration with very popular WordPress plugin. Do let me know in the comments below, do you even plan to use it? And how are you going to use GiveWP? I'm interested to know, are you going to set up just a simple donations website? Or are you going to transform your community into a Kickstarter or Patreon clone where you can uh, collect fundraisers and uh, campaigns to fund artists on your website or you know all the good stuff that kickstarter and patreon and similar site have been used for okay i'm interested to see what are your opinions in the comments below and until the next video you know what to do give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification icon to be notified whenever a new video comes out we release new content every week and then publish that content on social media. So follow us there as well. Links will be in the description below. Until the next video, I wish you all the best. Bye.